Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Central Eyes. And today we've got two new fragrances from Poundland. Yes, Poundland do fragrances. Um, how much are they, are you say? Well, funny enough, they cost one pound and I picked up the two of the latest releases. Um, I did a video previously where I'd got four different fragrances from Poundland um, and told you about them. And to be fair, most of them are quite close, but I think the biggest issue with things like Poundland, because of the price, it, it's performance that you've got the issues with. So the two that I've picked up are Regal Emperor, which I have a feeling what it's going to be a clone of, and the other one is Secret Noir. I have a feeling for that one as well, but I'm not 100%. So I'll leave a link to the previous video. Um, I think it's one of my best viewed videos, so it just shows there is demand for these type of videos. So let's crack into this one now looking at it looking at the little man on the horse on the front and then looking at this fragrance with a man on the horse on the front and the same sort of color schemes i'm thinking it's going to be an aventus clone but i might be completely wrong Now let's look at the box, it's an eau de toilette, 100ml, uh, I bet it costs a pain just to do the box to be fair, the barcode and stuff, and it's got the ingredients, so from what I can remember from the other lot, the bottles aren't the best, but then you are talking a pound, and yeah, it's a bit of a basic bottle. And plastic cap and a pretty basic atomizer as well. So let's give it a smell, see what it smells like. Now I'm expecting to be a lot of alcohol in the opening of something like this. So I'll let it die off for a few seconds. And yeah, it's definitely got the Aventus vibe. <laughs> and it doesn't smell too bad to be fair. So it's got the pineapple and the bergamot in the opening. Maybe a bit of blackcurrant. Not getting much else at the moment, but it's definitely the Aventus DNA. Smelling it straight away, how long it lasts, what I'll do. I'll do a quick first impressions of both of these. Then I'll go away for a couple of days, test them out, and I'll add it on to the end of the video and you can see how long they last for. That's definitely a clone of Aventus. Second one, let's get into that one and Secret Noir. So, Noir gives me the feeling it could be one of Tom Ford's. Tom Ford's got three Noir fragrances. He's got Tom Ford Noir, Tom Ford Noir Extreme, and also a Tom Ford Noir de Noir. So this one, if you look at the packaging, it's got some lines at the top which makes it look like the Tom Ford Noir bottle which I'll put a picture on the screen and you can see what I mean so I've got a feeling it's going to be Noir now I don't own any of these Tom Fords but I've got two perfume parlor versions one of Noir one of Noir Extreme and I've got an Armath version of Noir de Noir. 
So I've got all bases covered to give them a smell and see what they smell like. So I've just scratched the top of that, can you see, with the scissors. But quite basic. Another one which is 100ml eau de toilette. Got the barcode on the bottom and the ingredients on the back. So I'm expecting another basic bottle, which yes it is. Secret noir. And another basic cap and atomizer, just plastic. So let's give this a smell. Come on, sprayer. It's not spraying. Oh, here it is. That is a terrible sprayer. I can hardly get anything out. I don't know if the sprayer's broke. Oh. Now. I can tell straight off. is quite flowery it's definitely got like a rose feel to it but that's pretty weak I don't know if it's because of how bad the sprayer was interesting what I'll do I'll spray my perfume parlor version of Noir and see if that matches up. So I definitely get like a, a rosy, ambery feel to it, but it's very light. Now Perfume parlor version, lot stronger, lot better. But I have a feeling that is noir. Let's see if I can get any more sprays out of it. It's quite disappointing that the sprayer is so bad. Ah, that was better. But then it kind of turns into rubbish again. Not a great sprayer at all. Might have to pick another one of them up just to get a decent sprayer. But as you can see, that's quite soaked now, so it should give me a better idea. So it has got a similar vibe. I think definitely it's going for Tom Ford Noir. I will quickly spray the Noir Extreme from Perfume Parlor. Compare that. Yeah, that's a lot deeper and darker. And I will spray the Club de Nuit Intense Woman, which is a take on Noir de Noir, which this is beautiful. It really is nice. I did a first impressions of this, I'll put a link to the video. So that's a lot rosier. Quite a tangy rose in that. So. I think definitely Poundland one is a take on Tom Ford's Noir. But comparing it to Perfume Parlor, the Perfume Parlor one is much better. Um, but then it's more concentrated oils probably. So that is really light. Be interesting to see what this is like after I've tested it for a few days. I've got a feeling that this could be gone within half an hour to an hour. But we can only test. So 
I'll go away and I'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts on both of them. Hey y'all, so I've been trying these two fragrances over the last week and these are my thoughts on them. First of all, Regal Emperor. So this is an Aventus clone. Um, performance wise, I think you're looking at half an hour to an hour tops projection and this was a skin scent after that. I could still smell it on my skin, say three to four hours later, but no more than that. But as an Aventus clone, as a cheapie to put in the car, to spray on if you forget to put something else on, as something to come out of the gym, something to come out of the shower, I'd definitely recommend, probably not for frag heads out there, people that are into fragrances, but if you're here, not really into fragrances, wanting to find out about this, I'd definitely recommend picking it up from Poundland. For the price, you just, you just can't beat the value. Regarding the other one, Secret Noir. So this is a take on Tom Ford's Noir, and I was disappointed with this one, to be fair. Um, as soon as you put it on, it's very light. I did manage to fix the sprayer on this, but the issue I had is that within half an hour it had stopped. I mean, it, to, to be fair, it didn't project at all. I just had to, to smell it, I had to keep lifting my hand up and I'd say it was, it was gone within two hours tops. And even then, like digging your nose in on to the t near the two hour mark, I was struggling to smell it. So it is very light, it does smell similar but it is light and I wouldn't recommend this one. But for a pound, <laughs> it's, <laughs> a pound is cheap, isn't it? So a, a pound, maybe you should pick it up. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you. But those are my thoughts on those two. Um, I was excited to try them because the four that I'd had previous were pretty good and lasted well. And the Emperor, I do like that one. Secret Noir, I was really disappointed in it. I was expecting a bit more. But for a pound, you can't grumble, can you? I'd definitely recommend, even if it was just to try the DNA, to, to pick them up for a pound. So that's it from me. Have you tried these fragrances? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll speak to you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.